Hello, my crafty peeps. It's Cheyenne from PixieCrafter.com. Oh, I've got a... Well, I was going to say unboxing, but it's not really a box, is it? Um, this is an order that I placed from Simon Says Stamps. It was my first time ordering from Simon Says Stamps, and uh, I am very happy so far uh, with the whole experience. It's a very user-friendly website and uh, yeah you might be paying maybe a little bit more than you would at other sites because I was I was doing some price comparison between sites because it's been a while since I've done online ordering but the shipping was a little cheaper with Simon Says Stamp so I think there's there's the advantage I um, I've heard like there were good reviews about Simon Says Stamps with you know how fast they ship and process and everything so that's why I was kind of leaning more towards them than one of the other sites that I was looking at so anyway enough with that let's actually try to open it up so there's there's tape over this too so actually it's it's coming along fairly well fairly well okay and there we go, we've got it open. So I'm so excited about some of these things. It's so much fun. Okay. So, all right, that is it. You pop that package package along. All right, so first thing, we've got Simon Says Stamps pretend, presents Stamp Timber. Yes, that's right, a month-long stamp party. I was on the website earlier today, and it is uh, September 1st. Uh, while I'm filming this and there's just there's a lot of uh, sales and uh, good things going on so it's a good time to go ahead and shop at Simon Says Stamp um, yeah let's see what else what else oh they've got some new product releases and they look really adorable all right let's actually get into what I bought so, more packaging, packaging within packaging within packaging. A box within a box within a box. All right, so, first up, for all of my new glues and stuff, I went ahead and got the Doris Ultra Fine Tip Applicator Bottle. Um, so I can go ahead and fill up everything and have this fine tip happening. Um, so, one of the things I plan to put in it is my Ranger Multimedia Matte. I haven't used this product yet. I might not end up using it because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it out of the package because that's a lot of plastic going around that. But um, I'll get to that later. But yeah, I plan on putting this into one of these and having a fine tip applicator bottle for that. Now I'm sure you see all of these guys. Oh, all right, these I'm so excited about because I've been wanting to try them. These are the Nouveau Drops. So I got, let me see if I can find where all the details are on this. I don't, I do do. It dries clear. All right, I guess this is just the crystal drop, the clear crystal drop. I'm going to go with that. And then I just went ahead and got the basics just so I can try it out. Okay, and this is the Simply White Gloss Drops. And then I've got the, the black one, the uh, Ebony Black Gloss Drops, so I can kind of do my own enamel dance. And yeah, this must be the, uh, the Dew Drop one, because, yeah, Morning Dew. Um, there it is. I found the, the actual name. All right, and then I went ahead and got the uh, White Blizzard Glitter Drops. Because I figure, all right, with, between these, it's going to go on any project that I have. Any project can get that. So while I'm cutting open packaging, okay. This might take a blowtorch to actually get into, but hey, at least I know it's not going to leak over anything. Seriously, wow. There's plastic, there's tape. You're making me work for this. All right, there we go. Now let's actually see how, I mean, that's not a bad tip for anything, but I still like my little fine tips. Now, 
I also went ahead because I'm always getting inky fingers all over everything. The uh, sand and rubber mono eraser for ink and pencil. So you've got one for ink and pencil and I think one for paint. There was two of them to choose from, and I got the ink and pencil because I figured that's the one that I'm going to be needing most often. So let's see what else I've got because I have some of the Tim Holtz mini um, ink pads. I went ahead and got the mini ink blending tool. So I've got two of those. Now I just need to get more of the, uh, the sponges. So anytime I see those on sale, I can go ahead and just pick those up. All right, here's two things that I'm like really excited about because I love my mixed media. So I've got the Tim Holtz layering stencils in Halloween script and holiday script. So these are going to be fun, embossing paste, texture paste, um, just ink, uh, mist, you name it. I'm going to probably even try to run these through my Big Shot to get some embossing with this. But I am so excited about this. I am looking forward to a lot of different fun things to do with these guys. I love it. Love it. Perfect background for so many things. Or even just like, you know, cut it out. You know, frame it and you're you're good. You're good for the holidays. Oh, here's... Alright, all of my Disney people. Simon Says Stamp has a lot of really cute Disney stuff on it. There's um, actually a paper pack that I kind of regret that I didn't get. But I thought, you know what? Pace myself. It'll come. It'll get there. But I had to have this. This was another reason why I went ahead and went with Simon Says Stamp. Look at this. The Clearly Kelly Clearos, Clear Stamps from Hero Arts. And uh, let me see. Does this have a name on it? Kelly's Magical Stamp Set. So we've got The Castle. This is Beyond Magical. All of Us. A Dream Come True. Documented. Happy Right Here. Wish. Moments. Um, little firework pixie dust action and a little heart oh I love that it's gonna be perfect because I am a little bit behind on my Disney scrapbooking so that's gonna be fun it's even gonna be fun to uh, possibly like make a card or something with it tags Woohoo! the uh, inspiration is a flowing all right and then I went ahead and got some paper packs I don't mind the six by six size because I find Lately, I don't necessarily want a big 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper. I would rather have a plain colored cardstock and add different patterns and layer it up that way and do mixed media and stuff like that. So I've got the Prima Marketing ink. I think that me and Prima are going to be getting along very well in the future. And this is the Archivist uh, Frank, Garcieri, Frank Garcia 6 by 6 paper pack in... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe it's just called The Archivist. I'm not sure because I'm uh, not 100% familiar with everything. I thought The Archivist was kind of like the sub-collection. Um, but yeah, okay, there's 30 sheets, 6 double-sided designs, and 5 each of each design. Let me see if I can pop this open without doing too much damage. Okay, so there's that little sticker. This would help if I actually had one of my new pairs of scissors. They're a little bit sharper than those ones, but my assistant was giving me those ones, so sometimes you just got to go with it. So, all right. Oh, look at these gorgeous ones that are going to be fantastic for layering. Can we say, like... There's some masculine cards in here, aren't there? Oh, I love, love that. That is gorgeous. I I have a soft spot for vintage florals. Pretty vintage florals. We've got some vintage floral wallpaper going on in my house that I'm not too keen or fond of. Oh, I love that. Cut these up and you've got like little, little tags, little layering pieces for your scrapbooking. Oh, so cute. Oh, that's going to be a fun background, too. Ah, oh, loving the numbers. 
so much goodness. Okay, so that's that one. And then, you know, I thought, you know what? We need some Christmas going on here, too. So I saw this one, and I'm like, you know what? That one is kind of cute. I'm digging the colors in it. So this is Echo Park paper, um, 6 by 6 paper pack, 24 double-sided papers. And this is A Perfect Christmas by Lori Whitlock. Oh, there's 24 papers in this. So, I mostly got it for, you know, like, the patterns. Not necessarily, like, the flowers. Loving the retro ornaments there. But, yeah, the plaids. Digging the plaids. Oh, my God, is that not the cutest little Rudolph you've ever seen? So adorable. Um, the packages are really nice. Oh, look, we can cut it out and make tags. Some of these might actually, no, nah, probably not. I'm going to say they're going to fit one of my Stampin' Up! labels, but they're, they're probably not. Um, big fan of just a graphic snowflake. This is cute. I totally see that as a layer more than anything else. Oh, loving the patterns. Oh, look, even like two from tags. Not that I'll use that for that, but I mean, it would be cute to cut these up and actually put them on a scrapbook page. Maybe, you know, commemorating. Oh, look at that, a nice wood pattern. Um, you know, the fact that I'm wrapping presents, because I have a tradition when I'm wrapping presents, that nobody actually, okay, now we're repeating, um, records because I do it when nobody else is up. All right, and now, oh, I'm excited about these too. You know how I was, um, all right, I'm just going to have to cut this open. Um, making those, you know, gift card holders, card with a gift card holder. Well, I figured out a better way, and that's just to get some dies for it. Just make sure, okay, nothing else in it. So these are the gift card slots. So there are um, basically two different styles. So this one's just gonna cut out a little half circle on each side, and you're gonna tuck the uh, gift card in that, and then this is a slot where you can actually slot it in. So part of it is like behind whatever your layer is and you have these two for using your gift card that away and then these two where you have your gift card that away. So you know there's there's gonna be some gift cartage in the future so hey you got a friend going to Disney there you go you can give them a Disney gift card with a card Oh, I do Disney vacations. I think that this is what I'm going to do for all of my clients that book with me. I'm going to make them some nice little cards, thank you cards, with a Disney gift card inside. So, on that note, if you want to book a Disney vacation with me, you can head on over to my website, pixiecrafter.com. I do have a little tab up in the menu bar where you can go ahead and click on it. There's a little questionnaire. Um, the more information you give me on the questionnaire, the better I'm able to um, cater your quotes to your specific needs. You can also go ahead and email me with any questions. All of the, uh, the contact stuff is on pixiecrafter.com. And uh, all right, so that is, that is it for my unboxing. And I'm excited and I can't wait to break open all of these and use them in tutorials. So, all right, that's it for today. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And uh, all right, until next time, happy crafting. Bye. Want to see more? Here's some videos that might interest you. And remember, you can find a full list of the products I used at my website and blog, along with more project ideas and inspiration. You can also find all of my affiliate links or shop my Etsy boutique. And feel free to contact me to help book and plan a magical Disney vacation.